Hi, I'm Scott Christopher, and I'm starting a blog, or a vlog, a vlog. I'm just gonna, you know, I don't know if I'll do it every single day, but I'll just take you along with me as I have my adventures. While I stop to get my hair cut, um, you can uh, watch some of uh, what happened the last couple of days, just to get caught up. Nothing fancy, but... So Friday started out yeah, lovely with uh, right some down. hail. And I mean tons and tons of hail. Very, very cold rain that fell. And uh, I had to take a wet dry vac and put it out in the overflow drain in the lawn because it was backing up our gutters, which we paid like $1,500 for last year. So this wouldn't happen. And here you see it clearly happening. Saturday, we had a family over, the Sibs. There's my brother James and and my sister Bonnie, my other sister Andrea, all together from my mom for Mother's Day since she's leaving town for a few months and she's getting older and, uh, you know, she's the matriarch. There she is, of course. She hates to have her picture taken. Oh, Scott, please don't. And then within about 10 seconds, she'll warm right up to the lens. And there you have it. Yeah, a lot of fun with Lil. Mother's Day for my wife, of course, meant a special day with her making all the food. It only seems right. Josh was in town from Utah State. Uh, my 13-year-old John there getting a lot taller as we set the table. And Liz, of course, put all the chicken on the grill while I was doing something else and letting it burn. But it tasted really rather good. Josh breaking out the guitar. He and John serenading Liz with songs from Flight of the Concords. Classy stuff, naturally. Our dog doesn't like it when his mistress is being sandwiched by other people. She is, after all, his mistress, and that's a sacred relationship. Or dirty, but not in this case. And to clean things up, uh, to finish off our Mother's Day, we spent some time on Skype with my missionary son who's in Vancouver and my son on the left who is in Salt Lake but was sick and sneezing the entire time, blowing his nose, sniffling. It was fun. That's kind of a payday on Mother's Day. This morning I got up at the crack of dawn and this almost catches you up. Up and at them early, baby. Just gotta, I've got to lose, I, I don't have to lose tons of weight, but I mean I lost all this weight over the last month or so and you know it's starting to creep back so I gotta... I'm six foot three and a half and I've always been very proud of that half. My wife always laughs at me for throwing the half in, but the fact is is it's not 6'4", and it's not 6'3". It's 6'3 it's and a half. That's what it's always said. If I know my body, I can, before I step on a scale, I, I pretty much know exactly what it's going to say. I mean, this is a digital scale with the tenths of a pound on it. And my plan is to be a guy that's, you know, basically 6'3", 6'3 and a half. I got to get back to eating better. So this week it's all eating good and, uh, and just, you know, an hour on a bike. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, the gym. Oh, I hate the gym. The very thought of the gym makes me ill. Someday when I'm rich and famous, I'm going to buy enough weights and exercise equipment. It's I hate going to the gym. Just because I don't like people. <laughs> I mean, I love people. I just don't like them at the gym. If I want to be humiliated and shamed for looking the way I look, I would much rather have that at home with the people I love than a bunch of judgmental strangers. I'm a little old school. So this is what I wear. Full sweatshirt, old fashioned shorts. I try to keep the goods covered. You know what I mean? Okay, there it is. It's, um, it's shorter. I have less hair. Pretty exciting stuff, I know, yeah. And, uh, but I'll keep you posted on what's going on in my professional life, because that's really the magic, you know. All the movies, the TV shows, all the voice work, it's, uh, I mean, you, you literally have to have, I think by definition, no life whatsoever to find any of this at all exciting or watchable. And God bless you for it.